here's a health issue that might also give you a case of the willies. One in four students will have lice once a year. That's according to the experts. News Channel 5's Alexandra Cohen is here to tell us about a new pilot program that's gaining some momentum. Alexandra, tell us about this lice map and how it works. Carrie, this is the Williamson County Lice Alert, and all these red dots right here represent schools where parents have reported that their kids have lice. So I can click on this red dot right here. It pops up. One case last reported on 127 at Centennial High School. They are also partnering with the Lice Place out in Cool Springs, and I stopped by there today. They are registered nurses who treat lice in a setting that makes kids feel more at ease. After dealing with an influx of lice cases, they decided to partner with the Williamson Source to make the Williamson County Lice Alert Map. Deanna Dickerson says parents need to be vigilant and check their students' heads once a week. Some children, up to 50% of the population, are not allergic to the saliva of the lice, so they may never itch. So just because your child is not itching, you can't assume that they're not having any issues. So again, it makes the point for constant weekly checking. Due to certain law, schools can't talk about lice cases that have popped up, so Dickerson is hoping parents will use this new map to report cases. All you have to do is scroll to the bottom right here, put in your school's name, the date of diagnosis, and the year, and all you do is press submit, and that way it will add the little dot to the map here. They're really hoping that this will gain more momentum. Back to you guys.